So why don't we build our own 3D camera? Since there are no available 3D cameras that are 1080p, uh, capable of underwater use, uh, capable of being very small and doing uh, still photos as well as videos, uh, I chose the Swan camera because it has a display in the back that you can actually see what you're pointing at if you choose to have that display hooked up to the camera. So it's uh, real convenient. So I bought two of these cameras, mounted them on a uh, aluminum bar, and uh, here's what I found when I went to use this camera. Um, I found that uh, one camera is pointing up in the air just slightly more than the other camera. So uh, I found that uh, after I calibrated the cameras, I had a much better quality 3D picture. So let me show you how I did it. The first thing I did to calibrate the camera was to set both cameras out on my driveway looking at a straight horizontal line. I used my garage door as an example of the straight horizontal line. Now I've left the how to calibrate your 3D camera and the underline there so that you can see as you move the um, well I'm, I'm oscillating between the left picture and the right picture left picture and the right picture and you can see that one camera is pointing up in the air substantially more than the other camera this is what we need to fix um, before we can move on to do 3d photography so once I found out that the left camera needed to be pointed up in the air more I took some pieces of electrical tape and I stuck it under the front of the camera that moved the front of the camera up a slight amount. I ended up using five pieces of electrical tape and uh, here's the result that I got after inserting the electrical tape underneath the front of the camera. If you now go and search for fly me airplane or 3D SBS on uh, YouTube you'll find uh, several of the videos that I've taken with this camera setup uh, stills and full speed uh, 720p videos. Um, I have not put 1080p videos on YouTube, just 720s, even though I am capable of capturing 1080p underwater or above water. So go out and give it a shot. It's a very easy thing to do. Uh, use any available cameras that you have and uh, have fun shooting 3D. Thanks. Hello and welcome to my Pinnacle Studio 17 tutorial on how to adjust your 3D video when you're using two separate cameras. Um, so what I'm going to first do, I've loaded a 3D movie compilation here. I'm going to move to this particular 3D frame. Uh, this person that's standing here, I want him to be in this middle. I want the airplane to be in the background and I want this person on the right here, it's very close to me, to be close to me basically. So the way I'm going to get that adjusted, and you can see right here that his head there and the uh, shadow basically of his head, the other eye, is uh, quite a bit separated from the person. So let's go down here and double click on this video. Then our uh, 3D um, adjustments are going to come up here. So I'm going to hit stereoscopic up here at the top. Depth maybe. Ah, okay. So I clicked on the depth button. Uh, the uh, Standard, oops, advanced. Let's go to advanced mode here. And there's a shift here now. So let's click on the shift. And then horizontal here. And I'm going to use my left right mouse button on the keyboard to uh, do some adjustments. And you can see this one's shifting the wrong direction. If you can see it, it's going negative. It's going the wrong way. So let's go positive. Going back towards zero. Now we're going 1, 2, 10, 12, 15. You can see it's starting to get his head over there. So I'm like 35, 37, and that looks about good. So, But you can see the, the bluish part over his head here is still above him. So I'm going to go vertically, and I'm just going to start going negative. And it's going the wrong direction. You see it's blue is getting bigger. So let's go back toward the positive. So I'm again just holding down the arrow keys on my keyboard. And I'm about 12.9 now. The guy looks pretty good. So I'd say he's centered. 
So we'll go down here to hit the OK. And, uh, oops, where is it? OK. And that'll be it. Oh, pop, it popped right in. And uh, now you can see the guy that I want in the middle ground it has no real shading around him, whereas the airplane's uh, definitely got some shading around it. And this red bar over here is just the difference between the um, two cameras, uh, the aiming of them. So basically, this video is set up perfect now. It's ready to uh, to uh, process. But you have to do it for each one of the frames. Uh, thank you for uh, watching along with my how to process Pinnacle Studio 16 3D.